wow, I rarely go back to the well twice in a 24 hour span, unless it is of course to raise funds for my now in construction Bree Shed, a wonderful 12 by 12 shed that will store my lawnmower, fertilizer, pool equipment, as well as other various garden tools like hoes. So this game, Shenmue 3, this topic is bigger than just that game. And I hope that you'll watch this. I know that it will get less engagement because people already kind of know what's going on, but things have gotten worse since my last video. And I believe that part of what this channel does is consumer advocacy. And even if it's just a small chunk of people in the Shenmue Kickstarter, it does affect all of us. It has a rippling effect. So I'm gonna ask that you consider obviously watching this because I'm not going to spend most of the time recapping. I'm going to give you all new stuff, but also that uh, if you support the message or you support the channel, just drop a like, leave a comment, consider sharing this. People really need to learn um, that, you know, I just can't uh, support crowdfunding almost anything anymore um, because there will always be bad actors. Kickstarter needs to intervene here. It is my strong opinion that Kickstarter needs to intervene and protect these backers or they will continue to have their good name tarnished by greedy developers like, uh, you know, Phoenix Point Games, which went through FIG, not Kickstarter. But also in this particular case, we're talking about a developer that backers gave them $6.33 million dollars. They took publisher money from Deep Silver, and then they took money from Epic Games for an exclusive. We're talking about a game that fans of the franchise have waited more than 15 years for, if I believe. Dreamcast was the last uh, platform that this was on. This is a perfect example of a cash grab, and whether or not the game was going to be good or not is now become secondary to we can only be described as disgusting publisher greed, game developer greed, and uh, a classic bait and switch. This has to stop. I'm trying to like not be an angry gaming YouTuber. I'm trying to be happy about it, but ugh, I'm very angry uh, in this particular case, okay? Uh, what is happening is this is now the second or third example of a developer bankrolling their game getting their proof of concept on the backs of the community, all right, and then turning its back on it and going exclusive. Now, in the case of Phoenix Point Games, or Phoenix Point, uh, where that was originally going to be offered on Steam, but uh, they took a big pile of money from Epic Games, and the development team, team even came out and said, I quote, the PC version of Phoenix Point will be exclusively on Epic Games. We recognize that some of you may have backed or pre-ordered Phoenix Point with the expectation of the platform you'd already be able to play it on. Galpart's in the announcement, and this update changes that. If for any reason you are not happy with this change, we are happy to offer you a full refund and apologize for any inconvenience caused. Now, at the time I covered this, it was already absolutely disgusting to, to read phoenix points uh, message where they basically said hey you know what they gave us enough money that even if all of you refunded we would be fine they disabled the comments okay i was just checking it out. i was like i wonder how that turned out they disabled that um that's not hyperbole that's what the the people behind phoenix point literally said Epic Games Store gave us enough money up front that if we had to refund 100% of you, we would still be profitable. Now, can you blame the developer for taking that money? I guess not, but you have to give these people their refunds, all right? Now, it was bad enough when Phoenix went down. Now we've just gone to another level where Shenmue 3 has done the same thing as Phoenix Point, where they had been updating their Steam page as recently as last week. As recently as last week, they were updating their Steam page only to come out this week and say it would be an Epic Store exclusive. And backers are mad. But what makes it even more egregious is... The game's journalists uh, seem to be passively defending this behavior, or at the very minimum, they aren't calling for this developer to honor some refunds. Look, 
they made their own decision. And no matter what, there's going to now see, here's what happened. Now they're going to have a huge group of people and Maybe that's 500, maybe that's 1,000, maybe that's 2,000 out of the 70,000 backers. So you might be saying, well, that's not that many. Okay, fine, fine. But these are now 2,000 people that are PO'd and that they're going to follow your game around. I'm sure this will totally not affect your Metacritic score. I'm sure this totally won't have the the uh, the the torrent sites working overtime. I'm sure this will totally end up well for you. I'm sure that not refunding people is totally going to work out fine for you. Now, would you have had some people who were angry when you did this anyway, even if you offered a refund? Yes, but at least they would have gotten their refund. In this case, I mean, imagine, imagine wanting to keep customers' money who now hate you, who don't want anything to do with you. You are turning them in to a super fan. I've always said this, people that strongly dislike me, for example, they are more dedicated than the people that really like my channel. Every day when I upload a video, there's always several dislikes almost immediately. These are people that are just like waiting all day to dislike my videos. That's their existence. But thankfully, all of you have already hit the thumbs up button or will now. And so it will be dwarfing. Uh, those people, but you have now created a roaming group of people that will follow your game forever with a feeling of betrayal. Then you look at articles like The Verge saying some backers of action games Shinmu 3's multi million dollar Kickstarter are upset that the launch exclusively on Epic Game Stores, scuttling plans to launch on Steam. Uh, the developer Epic's exclusivity uh, denounced Epic exclusivity exclusivity during E3's PC game show today. Almost immediately, backers who had specifically requested Steam Key flooded their Kickstarter page with a request for refund. The game's Steam page is still live, and the publisher could theoretically still distribute on Steam. Key, uh, Steam keys to backers and sell the game through Epic more generally. However, the update specifically mentions requiring Epic software. We've reached out to Deep Silver to confirm what's going on. Uh, but then we look at this last paragraph. We don't know what percentage of Shenmue fans really care about exclusivity. Today's Kickstarter announcement currently has about 430 comments. The vast majority of them angry, but nearly 70,000 people backed the project when it launched in 2015. So we also don't know whether Shenmue 3's developers will be offering refunds. Well, they won't be. Uh, and we don't know how people respond to the game itself, which has been delayed several times, but may finally be on the verge of release at no point in this article are they calling for the absolute bare minimum of consumer protection the absolute bare minimum these developers could do would be to refund the people that are unhappy that is the literal bare minimum and they're refusing to do that we saw this cold-hearted email come out many of you sent it to me Thank you very much for contacting us. The launch was previously planned for distribution on Steam. However, it was decided to gather with Deep Silver after much discussion that Epic Games Store would be the best for distribution. Shenmue 3 will be distributing through Epic Games Store and will require the Epic Games Store client to activate. We apologize for the sudden change in platform. However, and by the way, that admits the sudden change in platform is a, a admission that it was set to release on Steam. All right. We apologize for the sudden change of platform. However, refunds will not be granted for this change. What? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? This is the bare freaking minimum. This is the bare minimum any company could do when they completely turn their back on a portion of their customer base. Yes, of course. There are a large percentage of the 70,000 backers who don't care about Epic. But even if it was only five, how can you not give them their money back? You clearly moved the goalposts. You clearly took their money to develop the game. By the way, you took an interest-free loan off the back of the gaming community. And then you took even more money from Deep Silver. Then you took even more money on top of that from Epic Game Store. I don't blame Epic or honestly Deep Silver at this point. You need to look at the original developers' decisions who have now sold their soul not once but twice after the after growing this game, building the marketing, making a dream come a reality on the back of the gaming in industry and a zero percent loan. That's what these people are doing. However, contrary to this later post, they did state that some backers would 
receive a Steam key. How or if this impacts matters, I couldn't say. I imagine binding aspect as much as it can be. Binding with Kickstarter, uh, where you actually aren't paying for product, would be an original deal set out where people donated their money. Now, Kickstarter needs to be contacted about this. Uh, if Kickstarter, if the rules of Kickstarter are that you are not buying a game, that you're just donating money with the promise of a free game in return at some point, that is a loophole. That needs to be closed because people are clearly using the format, clearly using the platform for this. So either one of two things is true. Either Kickstarter, this that this Kickstarter is in violation, all right? Either that is true or Kickstarter needs to acknowledge that game developers are using their platform to raise money interest-free off the back of the gaming community and they need to close that loophole. One of these two things need to happen. Uh, we're not going to get any pressure from games journalism. Uh, you know, wh where are the calls for these people to just refund the money? How hard would it be? The beloved saga of Ryo Hazuki continues. Shenmue 3 is coming to Epic Game Store. Top comment. Me, Epic Game Store. Thanks for helping backstab the backers who backed the Steam version, who waited for the third game in the franchise. You really mean it. Um, I'd like to sue somebody, please. Another game I'll never own as long as it's exclusive. Uh, nope, never on Epic Games. So what are the Steam keys? What about the Steam keys from the Kickstarter update? Steam keys are not refunded. You must use EGS or eat the cost. Agreed. Hope they get a lawsuit. Now, people are talking about contacting, for example, their attorney generals. Um, I, you know, I, this is Ohio State Attorney General that um, the salty one or the salty person will say. Um, a textbook example of consumer fraud. Follow this link, Ohio Attorney General, to help backers get their money back. Um, it seems like there's some interest in this. Maybe talk to your state's attorney general. The pressure here should be on Kickstarter to make this right, to uh, force the refund, I think. They've clearly changed the product, and they can't just... And I know they've told like, a lot of people, like, oh, tough cookies. No, that's unacceptable. If Kickstarter doesn't make this right, then people need to stop using Kickstarter. It's ridiculous. And to have all these games journalists who are supposed to be looking out for gamers just kind of tacitly covering it, like, oh... I don't want to say anything bad about our super mega overlord Epic Games because they buy a lot of ads on our website. I mean, that's how this reads that nobody is calling for demanding that these games be refunded that I can see. I brought up five different articles. All of them just kind of were like, yeah, this is happening. Yeah, yeah, this is happening. You know, meanwhile, the actual Kickstarter page is flooded with people who are completely incensed by what's going on. And I just don't understand. Give them their money back. Okay, I can wait my Steam. I can wait my Steam key, not Epic Store. This will hurt your dearest fans. Trust so bad. Be, be pro-consumer. Release on both Steam and Epic. Epic. Screw Kickstarter never again. Why didn't you ask the backers before doing this move? When I paid for this project, it said Steam, not Epic Store. I want a refund. See, this is kind of BS move. You're not only going to hurt and trust people having crowdfunding platforms, which makes it harder for other creators to crowdfund their games, but you also ensure we will never see the end of Shenmue because I cannot fathom who would be stupid enough to crowdfund the next game after you've showed a clear disdain for your most loyal fans. This goes on and on and on. There are thousands of comments. And by the way, these are backers only. This is not just a blind internet uh, anger mob. This is actual backers that have paid for this game absolutely this is one minute ago absolutely betrayed we're the only reason you got to make this game and it was for us not for epic games not for deep silver silver us backers i feel hurt uh disregarding the passion of the fans have uh, the audacity to thank us before forcing us into a scenario we don't want for pc gaming absolutely betrayed does anyone know why the hundred dollar tier shows at the bottom of survey no surveys are sent um it seems like this stuff will have to go to litigation. Similar lawsuits have occurred and been won. I, I mean, I support them suing. But what I would rather see is that the absolute bare minimum that they open up refunds. And I hope that people shared this video and I hope that we can rise up and get these people refunds because this is ridiculous.